fast, affordable, and reliable. Also pretty cheap. What do you get for participating with the gods? That's right, you get a 5 yen coin. That's right, I'm fast and affordable. Call anytime, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, that's my motto. I used to be a god of calamity, but now I'm a wish granting god. Do you want to know who I am? I think you should know me. I think you'll like me, but there are some things you don't really know about me. <sighs> First of all, I can't stand how humans would go and take their own lives, jump off rooftops, or even kill themselves for that matter. <sighs> it's disgusting. But I know life can be so painful, but people need to appreciate what it means to be alive. I know I have. I used to kill a lot of people. No, a lot of regalia. What am I really? Like I said, I used to be a god of calamity. Also, I ended up living with a monster, a sadist. You probably don't want to meet him, trust me. You'll get yourself in a lot of hell with this guy. He's my dad. Don't let appearances fool you. And whatever you do, don't convince me to kill him. I can't. As much as I hate my dad and how much of a monster he is, I can't bring myself to kill him. You see, I was born from a wish, and if I were to kill him, I would disappear. However, I didn't want to be a god of calamity anymore. So, I became a wish granting god. And I would help those in need. It didn't matter what kind of business would it be. All that mattered is that if it involves babysitting or cleaning things up or, or better yet, help with any other odd jobs, helping out pets. That's what I do the most. But I wouldn't care. It's all in favor. And then when I get a lot of yen, a lot of it, I'm gonna have my own shrine. And I'll be worshipped as a king. And people will remember me. Oh, it will be so great. I'll have a lot of shrine maidens. I'll be famous. Hell. Nobody's ever heard of me, because I can't really lie about that. But I think it's best to know I'm not really a really good god. Well, some gods I know aren't evil, but some aren't really that great. There's the god of poverty, Kofuku. She's a real sweet thing. And then there's Bishamon, the old hag that just wears that revealing clothing. <sighs> and then there's Nora. She's not a god. But let's just say she's not the person you want to trust with. She can kill anything that stands in her way. However, I guess my life is about to get better because I got to meet someone. She was pretty cute. She was probably a middle schooler or high schooler. She had long dark brown hair and she was pretty, well, 
pretty different from all the girls I've encountered with. She somehow saved my life, but in the process, she had that whole out-of-body thing problem. And then I found this little guy. Okay, he wasn't little, but he was so cute. I actually fell in love with this guy. I couldn't abandon him. He was a real sweet thing. Well, he had a bit of an attitude problem, but in the end, he turned out to be a pretty good guy. Oh, and the girl I mentioned, her name's Hiori Iki. And this boy I found, who became my new regalia, his name's Yukune. But every time in battle, if I face off against a storm, there's always a storm coming, full of corrupt spirits, like the demons from hell trying to tempt us. And by us, I mean the humans. However, I was going to use my new sword at work. And with Hiori there, even though she can be really annoying, but I'm glad to have her along. These are the words I say before slaying a demon. This is the land of the rising sun. Your desecration shall not be allowed here. Hear me, I am the god Yato. I now weigh, lay with the Seki, expelled by mass defilement. I pledge thee, friend. <laughs> Pretty cool line, isn't it? Don't think I'm a really cool guy. I'm just some wish grand god with a dream. But also, I want to be remembered. I want to be remembered as not just a wish grand god, but I just want to be special. It's all I ever want to be. I don't want to be forgotten. And one of these days, if I could, I was going to make Hiori the happiest girl in the world. Who knows? Maybe I'll make her a goddess. <laughs> She'll be my own goddess coming out to rescue me. Even Yukune is pretty worried about her growing up. But she always promised me she would never forget me or Yukune. And to top it all off, she made me a shrine. That's when I was going to make my vow. I, Yato, the wish-granting god, will fulfill my vow. And hey, if you want to make a wish, give me 500 yen. You made a wish, and it's been heard loud and clear.